have this dark, sultry, vampy fall look for you. First, let's talk about the lips. This is my favorite lip color. I know I'm going to be wearing it all fall. I just got these products the other day, and I have been wearing them every single day. Basically, what I'm talking about is the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 set, and it's just amazing. You will be seeing it in the video. I'm sure you guys have seen pictures and stuff, and seriously, if you're debating on getting it because of how different it looks, quit debating and just go get it. It's so pretty. It's like this silvery, taupey color, and she released it the perfect time. This is perfect for fall. I'm just completely in love with it. And I wanted to do a dark eye with it just to be pretty dramatic. And this might be more of a nighttime look for you guys. Or like me, I'm about to go and wear out all day. It's just a random Sunday afternoon and it's chilly out. And I just love these dark vampy looks for fall. This is a complete talk through tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So bear with me. I think that's all I have to say. Oh yeah, I used the Lorac Pro 1 and Pro 2 for this look. Um... I had kind of a specific look in mind and it just had all the colors I needed but of course you can go use whatever colors that you have. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's just get started. So first of course I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, my favorite primer of all life. <music> Jumping in with the Lorac Pro Palette 2, I'm going to take this color plum and this is what I'm going to use on the main part of my lid. Now using a more precise blending brush, I'm just going to slightly blend around those edges to make it easier to add other colors. But I'm being super careful about how much and where I blend this to because I don't want this look creeping up my eye. It's really easy to do that with dark colors and then you end up blending the whole way up to your eyebrow and you're mad. Okay, still on my Pro Palette 2, I'm taking the color Jade. I just, it's so beautiful, like, why wouldn't I use this color? And I'm going to put this on the outer corner. And again, I'm being super careful not to take it up too far. And also, I'm probably going to have fallout with this color. Yep, you can already see fallout. But that's why I didn't put my under eye concealer on yet. So I can just clean that up and then put my concealer on afterwards. <music> going to carefully blend this part out. Now I'm going to jump into my original Lorac Pro Palette 1 and just take this color taupe on a large blending brush, just a very little bit of it, and blend this into my crease. Now taking the color Sable, still from the first Pro Palette, on a tiny little pencil blending brush. I'm going to stick this in the outer part of my crease and just make sure to really blend it good. So now that that is all blended, I want to go back in and touch up the plum and the jade color just because they got kind of blended out there. my tiny little pencil blending brush again and blending out where I just touched up. Um, I'm happy 
having trouble picking what I want my inner corner highlight to be. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go with a little bit of this rose right here. Now from the Pro 2 still, I'm taking Buff as my brow bone highlight because this is my favorite. You guys know that. I'm just gonna lightly hit that. Okay, now let me just clean up this fallout and add my under eye concealer and then I'll be back for liner, lashes, cheeks, lips, all that. So under eyes are concealed and now I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay eyeliner and just tight line my upper lash line to get it ready for my winged liner. <laughs> Now using my Maybelline Line Stiletto, I'm going to do my winged eyeliner. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes and hit them with a light coat of this Tarte Gifted Mascara. It's just a sample I've been using from Sephora. I'm just going to prep my lashes for some falsies. Now I'm going to take the Ardell 105s and pop these on. They're not my favorite lashes, but they're going to do for today. And I'm just using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive for that. While that lash glue is drying before I can put my liner over top of it, I'm going to take a little bit of plum again and just run this on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go over that lash glue with a little bit of my line stiletto and then put on some mascara on my bottom lashes and my eyes will be done. Now for bronzer, I'm taking Benefit's Hoola. Just a medium tone matte bronzer. And I'm gonna pop this in the hollows of my cheek and up on my temple a little bit. And for blush, I'm gonna use an oldie book goodie, my City Color Cosmetics Baked Blush in Rose. I just thought the colors would look good with the eye color. And now for my favorite part, the lips. I have been wearing this lip color every day since I bought this trio. Um, first, I'm going to start off with this MAC lip liner in the color Strip Down. Just a nice brownie nude. <laughs> about to hear angels singing <sighs> beautiful the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 and sometimes I just leave it with just the lipstick it's a very metallic y taupey brown color it's like silver in it just gorgeous but I want to go out today. So let's top it off with the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 lip gloss and I don't know if the camera is going to pick up how beautiful this is but it's, if I could describe it in one word it'd be like holographic. <laughs> if that, that's probably not even right. But it has like purple and green and it's just looks like outer space. It's just beautiful. So I'm just going to pop this right on top. <laughs> there you have it. 
my favorite lip for the fall time. So this is a final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's super, super dramatic, like I mentioned in the intro, so you know you might not wear this for daytime, but me, personally, I'm about to go wear it all day. I mean, it's chilly out. It's time to rock the dark colors. So I'm just gonna do this. So again, I hope you guys aren't debating on this Viva Glamoriana too, because look at it, it is beautiful. Seriously, everybody needs it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to thumbs it up if you did. Leave me any comments that you have on this look down below, any requests, anything you wanna say. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it so much. I'm getting so close to 1,000 and that is super exciting. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you wanna keep up with me while I am not talking to you guys on here. And anyway, I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Mm -hmm.